the market's had a bit of a correction, maybe even a crash or a whoopsie, if you will. But this has given us a fantastic time to begin buying. Whether you're someone like my grandmother or my brother who has yet to get into crypto, or you're someone like myself who's been in the market for the last four years, and you've been buying pretty late. Now is a fantastic time. I'm going to give you 11 of these bad boys today. Not just, hey, I think this is a good project. Think about buying. I'm going to give you buy levels. I'm going to give you multiples. I think I'm looking at for each of these coins. I'm going to give you the market cap at those levels and a bit of an explanation because these coins just aren't good on paper. These aren't just ticking all the pumpamental boxes in terms of what I look for in projects specifically suited for this cycle. These projects have been chosen today because they've retraced from their recent local highs to give us that juicy time to get in. Again, we pretty much haven't had these levels since like late last year, if not early this year. So yes, we got to take advantage if we can. There's no point in you not dollar cost averaging on a dip, on a crash. That's when you do it, okay? So let's begin. In addition to, you know, considering the fact that we're looking at these projects based on pumpamentals and are they good on paper and will they do good this cycle and also being down from those local highs, we're also looking at these projects based on diversification because what I initially wanted to do on this video was have a make-believe portfolio of $5,000 and spread that and how I would spread that across all of these 11 altcoins. I'm not going to do that because that is going to add a hell of a lot more time to this video, which I can already assume is going to be quite a long one. So we are going to do that today, but in future crashes and dips, let me know down below right now if you do think it be, would be a fun idea to show you how I would spread capital, right? Maybe you have $2,000, $1,000, 500 bucks or a million dollars to invest on a crash. At least you can then figure out the ratios on what I would invest. Because again, focusing on different narratives for this particular video was an important part, which means, yes, theoretically, you could actually use all of these coins for your portfolio, okay? Or for, again, if you were my grandmother or my brother starting fresh in crypto, you could take this entire video and have a kick-ass portfolio spread along all these levels so you're always making money in the cycle. You, you won't not make money, basically. Now, we're going to be using coin market cap probably to some degree in this video just to give you an idea of the current market caps. We're going to start at the project ranked at the very highest on the top here and go all the way down, okay, to the lowest market cap project on this list. Guys, if you do want to trade any of the coins on today's video, you can help support what I do and also have amazing bonuses like $5 Free $5 on sign up, $100 on futures, and up to $30,500 rewards just simply signing up. But the most important part is you have free access to a Telegram group created in partnership with myself and CoinW to bring you a whole bunch of benefits. All you have to do is click this link, join the group on Telegram, provide your UID, which you can create and find by signing up with the link in that Telegram group, providing it in that group, and then once you do that, you'll be invited to the main group, okay? We just need to verify people that are coming to our main group we're creating over here is actually signing up via my referral link. But once you do, it's completely free, by the way. You will have access to a whole bunch of awesome features provided by myself and the CoinW team. Mark will be in here 24-7 very soon as well. You can see here, scalp signals, pro-traded charts. We've also got market updates in here, swing trade signals, live trading sessions, even from Queen W Trading Experts. Mark will also be in here as well, so you can copy trade all of his profitable wins and a whole bunch more, guys. This is exclusive and it's completely free, so go down there right now and sign up for free. So project number one, and I will try to get through this as fast as I can, is ICP. Again, the premise of this video is to give you altcoins to buy on the crash. It isn't supposed to be like a top altcoin video where I would like to go through what the project is and does a little bit more. So ICP, of course, is a distributed computer. It's in deep in, it's in AI, it's in a whole bunch of narratives. Actually, I picked up some of this coin myself. I've averaged in about $12.50, which is around about pretty much just beneath where we are right now, okay? So you can see here, this green box represents a strong buy zone area. So I would say anything around $12.50, to $10.50, if we ever fell that far, is a great area to begin buying. I think, again, pretty uh, simply anything beneath uh, $12 is a good time to buy. But we're working from the current price, which is about $13. 
Here's what I wanted to really show you guys. I wanted to show you from each of these coins today what I think the price could definitely reach, okay? So if you're someone starting off fresh, I think a 15X for ICP from the current price is most definitely in the cards. That's a 99 billion market cap. Now, again, remember, like I typically do on this channel, which is why you should stop this right now and quickly go down and like this video and subscribe because not only does it make my day and put a big smile on my face, okay? But also what it does is help you, right? Because what that allows you to do is get the best information. We take the future supply of these projects very seriously on this channel. All of these projects I cover, we scrutinize and we look through not just vesting schedules, but we go ahead and actually even factor in block count times and factor in what the supply will be at a given time in the future. Like with uh, ICP and all these coins today, this 99 billion market cap actually represents what the future supply will be, okay? What we're looking at here, depending on the current price we're aiming at, okay? Now, the current price we're aiming at here is at $198, okay? So I think ICP, any coin basically, I strongly do believe above probably a, well, we could even probably go to a 30 to a 40 rank on this list has the capability of hitting 100 billion market cap. Just like in the last cycle, we had about five projects, you know, outside of Bitcoin and Ethereum hit 100 billion market cap, this cycle, it'll probably expand to more. Next cycle, it'll probably be the top 100 that hits that. And then we're looking at 200 billion market cap possible players. So more than you think will hit this, which is why it's important for us to focus on projects like ICP, because I firmly do believe they will based on the narratives and the buzz. So yes, I'm looking at 1400%, aka a 15X for this coin from the current price. Again, if you go around this level, you're adding more risk. I'm personally selling this coin Probably around 150 bucks, if not a little bit less, if I can get away with it, just because over time I'll DCA a little bit more as well. Project number two here is HBAR. HBAR is at a fantastic buy zone, in my opinion. Keep in mind, this project in the bear market, guys, was pretty much sitting around five cents. So we are at 2x up right now from that point in time. And it's shown that it can pump very quickly and easily up to 20 cents based on this recent move. HBAR is similar to ICP. These are my top two conviction projects, except ICP is more focused in Web3, more focused on being a distributed computer. HBAR is more focused on actually servicing Web2 enterprises and being more a fast-paced transaction designed for enterprise adoption, okay? Now, these two kind of sit somewhat similar to one another. ICP is up here at 19 spots, so the highest market cap on this list at 6 billion. And we come down here to HBAR at a 3.7 million. So quite a big market cap jump between the two. And as someone who's looking to, you know, buy some of these coins, keep that in mind, okay? Because the higher market cap you go and begin buying, yes, the less risky it becomes unless you're selling at some crazy prices because it all depends, right? If you buy Solana at 300 bucks and you want to get out of 1000 bucks, that's probably not going to happen, all right? So it all depends on the buy and the exit, as well as the coin's quality, but you're buying pretty quality coins here, okay? Just don't expect to make like 40, 50x out of these. It's just not going to happen. We missed that boat. I mean, you could have made that with ICP if you bought down here at three bucks when everyone was saying it was a shit coin, all right? It's how the industry goes, by the way. Welcome to the world. So anyway, I think HBAR is a good buy anywhere between eight cents or eight and a half cents ish to 10 cents honestly right now is a fantastic time and even from the current price again i expect a 15x at a 61 billion market cap but to be honest with you guys i could see this project going a lot higher a lot of people have speculated they can expect it to go up to three dollars i think it's mathematically possible sometimes the market cap can be a little bit confusing because it doesn't factor in a release of tokens that are in the hands merely of people, which increases the market cap. It doesn't actually increase the demand required to hit that market cap. However, uh, I think HBAR is probably not going to exceed probably $253 at most. Still a good buy right now though. IMX is the third project. This is a gaming infrastructure project. It also is a layer two on Ethereum. So it's hitting three massive narratives. All right, guys, this is why I picked these coins because they are fantastic bloody options, right? They can hit these multiples, believe it or not. Now, one question I've had as well is, Kyron, you're talking about all these projects like IMX, for example, uh, about a 62 billion market cap. Maybe even it goes a bit higher than this, right? But how can these all hit these high market caps at once? You might do some quick maths, right? Quick maths. And that might work out to be a 50 trillion market cap. Guys, again, I want to remind you all that these projects have their all-time highs with their narratives. Their narratives have pumps all at different times, all right? This is the last cycle here, this big blob of color okay we can see that a lot of these different uh, narratives pumped early and not just early they pumped separate from one another you can see they're slightly ajar from the next 
And then we have some pumping over here, right? So we might have, for example, like a gaming pumping at their highest way over here, even past Bitcoin, okay? And yet we had a DeFi over here having their all-time high. So DeFi projects were down here while gaming was up here. So it's this moving of the markets, this massive scale, right? We're all these narratives on the scale. And then what happens is the scale will pull down for one and then that liquidity will push into the next. So it's this ever evolving kind of like a, again, scale I could kind of use in comparison there. So yes, IMX in my personal opinion, I'll be good buy zone at around $2 to $1.60. But again, I'm using all of these calculations here from the current price, right? So not actually those green buy zone areas. So again, this is a 1400% gain or a 15X at a 62 billion market cap or a $33 token. But if you're someone fortunate enough to have bought the dip down here, even with such a small little change, we can see adds an extra 2X overall to your gains, right? Which is pretty substantial when you're looking at a few hundred thousand dollars. Have you recently heard of the buzz around BRC20 tokens and how they're going to be a huge gainer of this bull run? Well, like me, you're probably underexposed to them right now, which could lead to a huge missed opportunity. But the sponsor of today's video, Satoshi Dex, gives us unparalleled opportunities to capitalize on this new narrative, and it hasn't even launched. Satoshi Dex is the world's first decentralized exchange built on the Bitcoin blockchain. It leverages a layer two blockchain called Stacks, another extremely popular Bitcoin narrative altcoin to allow users to swap Bitcoin tokens directly with other assets without wrapped tokens, which can often be illiquid and volatile. This is especially important if you're someone who owns BTC tokens and has always wanted to leverage the power of DeFi, but were too afraid to transfer them off the network due to the possible dangers. With discussions of eventually bridging out to other networks like Ethereum, Satoshi Dex plans to enable its users to leverage the native Bitcoin tokens they may have for whatever DeFi experience they want with the initial plan to tap into the 61 applications already built on Stacks. Like I mentioned before, Satoshi Dex actually doesn't have their token launched right now. So you can actually pick some tokens up via the link below, either with your Ethereum, USDT or USDC tokens. With over $11 million already raised and every few days the price increasing, time is of the essence if you want to participate. And if you do, you can decide to stake your SATX tokens directly on the interface for a juicy 118% APY. Just make sure to follow up with some more research and never invest more than you're willing to lose. With that said, let's get back to the video. Now project, what are we up to demo four now, right? Is Render Network, a fantastic project. Matter of fact, I actually bought this dip myself. I bought Render here, I bought about uh, 3,600 bucks worth at $7, basically $7.30, okay? And that was around nestled pretty low, actually. I got pretty lucky on this, right on this level of support down here. So I think this project is probably going to do pretty well. I'm looking at a 15X as a possibility here, 53 billion market cap. And this just goes to show, look, people have been asking me, Kyron, how can you expect Renda to go over 100 bucks, right? It's impossible. I just want to say, okay, you're not wrong with assuming that these projects that were recently at quite low levels, right? If we just pull back one year into render, I mean, this coin was at $1. Actually, matter of fact, even before this, it was at like 40 cents, right? In the last bear market, it was way down here at 40 cents, 50 cents. The thing is, you got to understand if we hit the market cap for this, right? It's 100 million market cap. The amount of people buying at this level were very, very small. And even the ones that were, I guarantee you it's crypto. I've seen it a million times. They get greedy and they end up if it goes to 90 bucks and they see like seven, eight figures in their account based on a small amount, they're going to think to themselves, oh my God, it's going to keep going. I'm not going to sell. And then they don't sell, right? It's not so much that people are going to dump. It's the big money we have to be concerned with. Retail, you and I, not going to lie, we're not the smartest cookies in the jar, all right? So we don't really have that. Now, we don't want to completely bank our strategy on people not selling, but at the same time, you have to understand, look at the market cap size and think to yourself, could this possibly happen, all right? And yes, Render could most definitely hit more than a 50 billion market cap at its highs. So I think now is a fantastic time to buy. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense, which is why I've added it to this list. Now I'm going to be getting out of render a little bit less than this because I'm fortunate enough and, and have the, I guess the smarts to have a goal. I want to achieve $4 million out of this cycle. Okay. I'm not going to push that boundary any higher. So the more money I put in on these dips, yes, it allows me to reduce the multiples required to hit those targets. Doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, increase my render target or 
you know, keep it at the same level, so adding more risk. I'm going to bring my level down to ensure I can sell render, ideally. If I could sell render, guys, at a 2x from the current price, I would do it. If I had acquired $1 million from the lottery tomorrow and put that in a you know, crypto, I'd be looking for a 4x overall. I just want to achieve my targets and get out because I've seen how this industry destroys people financially and you can't afford to do that the way the world's going this time around, guys. So yes, I think render around $7.80 to around $6.80 is a good area. Again, level of uh, support and resistance here. That's why I've chosen these levels, particularly because I don't really see us falling beneath this unless we have a massive dip. And if we do, we're probably going to fall way back down here to possibly $5. There's not much holding us up above this level. So you see these green markers as a good area to, I guess, buy. If we fall lower, hey, you did your best. You're still looking for your multiples, all right? If you're buying at these points that I'm pointing out today, at least you know you should be able to achieve your targets. Next up, we have Arbitrum. Arbitrum is a bit of a sleeper coin, right? A lot of people are disregarding this project because of the massive vesting schedule, and it's a big fallacy. Long story short, I think buying right now is an excellent entry, $1, as we can see over here. I mean, in the bear market, guys, we pretty much weren't too much further off this point. Matter of fact, we're buying at really good times. You can see way back here in October, pretty much the lows of the bear market. We weren't even far off, like what? An extra 30, 40% higher than where we are back then from now. Okay, it's crazy. So yes, I think around this level, if that bit lower is a good point in time to buy. We can see a little bit of uh, support slash resistance at these levels. And I would just say, nice, simple, get out at a 15x for this coin. Now you'll see the fallacy of crypto here in tokenomics that really gets people confused. I'll be making a video on this soon, by the way. 124 billion market cap. And also I've made many videos on this already. I will make another one, but I've made plenty on the channel disproving this theory. So this 124 billion market cap seems crazy, right? Because this is more than all the other projects I've spoken about so far. But what you want to look at in this case is where these tokens are going to. Like I kind of spoke about momentarily before, I believe it was with HBAR or IMX. When you're unlocking tokens, right? And these tokens are going towards um, entities that are unlocking via schedules, okay? If you think about it, right? Just apply some simple logic to this. When you have these massive token unlocks happen and all of a sudden, you know, the double of the supplies and everyone panics. Oh my God, Arbitrum's doubling their supply. It doesn't matter that the supply doubles. We've seen time and time again, historically speaking, cryptocurrencies don't instantly tank their price when all those tokens come into circulation. Have a look at Optimism. Do some research there. Okay, what happens is it depends who those tokens get delivered to. If I give, if I double, you know, Arbitrum supply, which is what's happening here soon, and I give all those new tokens to myself and I don't sell those tokens, nothing's going to happen to the price at all. It's not going to do anything at all. It's called over-the-counter trade, basically. The token unlocks, gives it to me, over-the-counter, it's not sold and then rebought on the open market, doesn't impact price, okay? However, if it's given to someone or an entity that decides, hey, I'm in to make money, I'm going to sell my tokens immediately, what happens? Then the tokens are sold on the open market and that's what tanks the price. So when you're looking at a project here, right, you can artificially pump up the market cap. You can artificially pump this number because these unlocks, they increase the supply and the way you find market cap is price times supply. Price is down from the open markets. If I jump over here, I know this is a big like lesson into completely different topic than what I'm talking about today, but this is why you got to be subscribed guys, because I tell you what, you won't get this anywhere else. All right, when you double the supply, so we're looking at the price $1.04 over here. This is found by aggregating all the different prices from all these different markets, centralized and decentralized together, and finding the average. Now, again, that's from, from the open markets itself. It's not found through any weird on-chain method. So then you get the current supply times the price, which is the market cap. So if you had a sudden increase in tokens, but those tokens are given out to people who aren't going to sell, the market cap theoretically increases price stays the same. You see where I'm going with this? So it's a big fallacy to think that, hey, Arbitrum is going to have to have, uh, you know, well, what's the current market cap? Let's have a look here. 2.7 billion market cap. Let's just roughly speaking say it's going to have to have a 50x in demand uh, in just the market cap, and yet the price only has to go up 15x. That's crazy. All that extra demand just for a 15x in, market, in price. No, that's wrong. Those tokens will get sent out because those are tokens in circulation. They represent as one share. 
more one token, and then that increases the market cap, okay? So you don't actually require that much demand to go up. Uh, however, keep in mind that if those tokens are being sent to venture capitalists, that's when we get into a bit of an issue. So Arbitrum makes it to this list. Again, I think 124 billion market cap is technically what it has to go to, but it's not that big of a deal, not that much demand. What is a big demand is the next project, which is Celestia, all right? Celestia is, I think, a fantastic buy. One of the other projects I bought on this dip as well, particularly happy with my purchase here because Eigenlayer, the competitor coming out here soon to Celestia, has had a lot of problems with the launch of its token. So this is, a, I believe, counteracting the FUD of, it, of its competitor, if you will. I think a great buy zone is now $10.30 down to $8.70, which it has recently hit. It actually went down to $7.00 fantastic opportunity here to get in this project guys i think looking at a 10x is probably smart with this coin again another fallacy a2 billion market cap doesn't actually have to go to that far if we have a look to when we're going to roughly sell at the worst case in time 800 million tokens will be in circulation however the trick here is that most of these tokens are actually given to possible entities that might sell this big blue line at the bottom here public allocation the community the worst of the worst right we as retail, sell instantly. We have paper hands, right? These VCs, boom, boom, boom. These three entities over here, all VCs, they typically look for kind of higher multiples and they're very strict with their multiples. They want a 10X, a 15X, like me, and then they're out of the game, right? And they will sell. They won't have access to all of their tokens, mind you, but considering at that point in time or any point in time along this timeline, they're going to have most of the supply, all right? Which is kind of scary, admittedly. Now, these guys got in cheap. You can see here, one cent, 10 cents, $1. Very, very cheap. So be mindful. There might be some sell-offs, but I think overall speaking, I'm buying uh, Celestia because the project's going to do well. I just think talking to someone who isn't in the market for a million years, I think a 10x probably is something you should look for for this coin just to be safe. I'm kind of I'm kind of estimating there will be some dumps. That's why I haven't put it at a 15x. I think it can. I'm kind of counteracting that for you. Next up, we have Ondo, okay? I've kind of put in a new green zone well and truly beneath where we are right now because it wouldn't surprise me if we fell down to that level only because we kind of recently have made these new higher lows, okay? But you can see here there's a very strong level of support and we are like literally accumulating here insanely, okay? Ondo is one of the most highly sought after real world asset projects. This coin is heavily focused in tokenization, you know, this is honestly the bee's knees when it comes to real world assets, and you must have a real world asset token in your portfolio. Now, from the current price, I'm expecting a 20x or 45 billion market cap. I think Ondo can hit those targets, no problem at all. It's a big narrative, as I've mentioned multiple times. Now, I think a good buy zone for this project is 76 cents and 68 cents, to be honest with you. Next up is Flare. I think Flare again is an underrated project. A lot of people are buzzed about it, but I think it's just going to take one bit of news to really pump this coin to the stratosphere. So this coin, I think it's a great buy right now at 30 or 3 cents rather, right down to 2.7 cents. So this area here is a good level of support. And if we fall beneath that, I think the next sort of uh, good level of support is around 2.3 cents to about 2 cents. So again, 20x for this coin. It's a layer one project. It kind of has oracles and an inbuilt bridge plus more focus within it itself, right? It can pull information from the internet. It can supply to dApps. It can pull information from other layer one projects and give it all at the very foundation. So it's extremely secure versus other layer one projects relying on third party teams to provide them oracles and bridges. Okay, so a fantastic coin in of itself. Mina Protocol. I've had a lot of questions about Mina recently. Kyron, what's happening with Mina? Can you talk about it? I'm losing interest in the project. What is up? Guys, Mina is going to kill it this cycle. Pump mentally, you know, on paper, this coin is the bleeding edge of zero knowledge proofs, a big part of this cycle's narrative. And also it's a layer one. It's the smallest blockchain ever in existence, 22 kilobytes, thanks to something called recursive ZK snarks, all built around ZK proofs, right? It's amazing technology. Anyway, these guys have a stacked roadmap, so it's just going to be a matter of time. This right here was a result of a roadmap announcement. We went from about 35 cents way up to a dollar. So at like 3x pretty quickly because of that. Now, I think Mean is a good buy now, as most of these coins are. So pretty much from 82 cents, 80 cents ish, down to about 70 cents. I've averaged in myself at 70 cents. So that tells you, obviously, I think that this coin can definitely hit the multiples from here. From the current price, I am estimating we hit a 21 billion market cap at least. I think this coin's going to absolutely fly which actually is a 20X. So low, low market cap, great project, not too much 
huge token unlocks to come out. That's why the market cap somewhat reflects more reasonable numbers. Next up, second to last, we have Pith Network. I think Pith's a great buy right now. Strong level of support over here at pretty much almost the same price it is. So I think if we fall any lower, we can expect it to fall down to 40 se- 46 cents at worst. It might fall a little bit lower, but I'm averaging at about 52 or 54 cents, somewhere around there anyway, 51 cents maybe, okay? Now this coin, I'm looking at a 20x as well at a 60 bill market cap. But just like the previous examples, Pith's unlock schedule is pretty gnarly. That's why, you know, these tokens unlocking have artificially pumped up the market cap. When you actually look at it though, all those tokens are going out mainly to the team, okay? To the network, to the go- to the governance, to all of those sort of entities, right? Like those data providers. So very little is actually going out to people who will dump the token. So I am not too concerned. This will pump. Uh, and yeah, I think a $10 token is on the cards here. And this was another project I actually recently bought even more of. It's one of my highest holdings right now. And last but not least, we have Manta. Now, I wouldn't have added Manta to this list. I do own Manta, mind you. And I do have a pretty high dollar cost average because I never thought it would fall beneath around $2.40. I didn't think it was going to fall this low, okay? But we've fallen this low now. And now I think it's an absolute no-brainer. Layer 2, ZKPs. It's got a layer one and it's a layer two all built in together. It's got some awesome tech, right? It's got ZK circuits. I mean, it's doing a hell of a lot. There's a lot of buzz around this project as well as all of these coins. And I think from this level here, again, great buy all the way down to where it's wicked down to at about $1.50 is a great time to buy. Like if you have a look again, we're at lows. Ignore this big green dildo. We're literally at the lows of the lows here. Yes, we wicked down a bit lower. Yes, we have kind of trough down a little bit here, but... Again, we're at the lows of the lows. From $1.60, we can hit a 20x at a 19 billion market cap. That is just crazy, okay? For this coin, this is a discount of a lifetime. So look, I'm not telling you guys to buy any of these coins. Guarantee this is what you should do. Listen to OBS Crypto. I'm giving you fantastic altcoins, 11 of them, to look at on this dip, right? Down from those recent local highs, They fit all the things I talk about. Yes, I own a lot of these coins in my portfolio. I just, one, like talking about the coins I'm interested in. And two, I put my money where my mouth is. It wouldn't feel right talking about coins and telling you they're great buys if I'm not buying them myself. Some people's logic down below doesn't make any sense. So just be careful of some of those people down there. I'm not kind of like trying to cover my ass. I'm just trying to guys say, look, if you read the comments or you are commenting down there, just Put some critical thinking on some of these things, okay? And most importantly, help each other out. I see a lot of questions down there, and I love it when I see people having a little comment thread helping each other out. You can also do that in my private community. Links down below as well. Guys, thank you so much. I'll talk to you all soon. Take good care. Bye.